is a Wagyu A5 brisket, folks. This is a very, very special piece of meat. Double eight cattle, full blood Japanese Wagyu beef. Signature Leroy Lewis crunchy bark. That fatty brisket just, it literally melted. Here, this is a really nice piece of meat. You know, you don't really need to do much to it. This is awesome! Are you ready for this? God, I hope so. That is probably the biggest brisket I have ever seen. This is the top right here. We got the point muscle right here. You can see it cascading. We got these beautiful end caps. Look at that lean right there. It's striations. That's the lean side of the brisket right there, and it is heavily marbled. Good lord. It's absolutely insane. That is what I'm talking about right there. All right, there's a little That's bit. That's what that should look like. $2,000 piece of meat. It's like the one time I've not been upset that it's kind of scalped, you know what I mean? Because <laughs> that's gonna be the richest bite ever. Like this lean is better than any fatty I've ever seen. <laughs> Could you even call that lean anymore? Fatty lean. Shout out to Jess Prowse. Thank you for letting me trim this brisket. That was a once in a lifetime experience. Looks amazing. Really, really, really excited about cooking this. Gotta say, I've never been this nervous about cooking a brisket before. Right, in my right. Time. Thousands of briskets later, this is the one that's really got me shaking in my boots. I think it'll cook up pretty quick, to be honest. So we are about to wrap up this double A cattle, A5, Miyazaki, Japanese Wagyu brisket. We've wrapped the rest of our briskets. They're looking beautiful. We're going to do our method, our boat method here. Oh my god. It feels so fatty. It feels so interesting. I can't wait to, I cannot wait to cut into this leaf. With this method, the idea is to kind of crimp around the edges, protect the leaf, protect the edges, but keep the top open, the fat cap, to crisp up and to get a nice bark. Uh, it's going to get crispier, crunchier, and then at the end, we're going to have a nice crunchy bark, nice rendered fat, and then very moist lean brisket. All right, we're going back on. Same spot, don't really need to move it. All right, almost 300. We are final push here on the briskets. We got coal here. How's it feel? Good. Nice. Is it tender? It's getting there. Still just a little bit tight? Yeah, it's a little bit tight. All right, finish these off. All right. Very nice. How you doing, Jess? Trim pieces. I figure this is a really nice piece of meat. You know, you don't really need to do much to it. So I'm gonna try to slice it as thin as I can and see if it tastes any good. I don't know. This is like doing experiments with this really nice piece of meat. Evan, have you ever uh, eaten rare brisket before? I haven't. It's just, I mean, this is more than rare. It's like blue, right? It's just barely seared. It's essentially, how you would like prepare like a piece of tuna, mm -hmm. right? Something good. I just want to pause real quick and talk about how lucky we are to be doing this right now. This is a very, very special piece of meat. Not a lot of people in the world get to do this. Not a lot of people in the world are going to get to eat this. Uh, it's really exciting. Thank you, Jess. Thank you, Double Eight Cattle Company. Thank you, Chud's Barbecue. This is just a pretty special piece of meat. Just pause real quick, reflect. This is awesome! Okay, here we go. Feels very good, very, very extremely tender. 
I mean, it looks like a brisket, right? <laughs> it That's looks good really thing. good. That is just so marbled right there, though. That looks incredible. That crunchy crust. So I think our boat method is going to work particularly well for this fatty, fatty brisket. It's cutting like butter. Best piece right here. Oh my god. Look at that crispiness up there. That is just crispy, delicious fat. Ridiculous. Uh, honestly, the best brisket I've ever had. It's, uh, I mean, we got the crunchy bark, super rendered, nice and melty fat. It's just cooked perfectly. I mean, this is the last little piece I had. I had a whole full slice. Housed it. Housed it. Um, yeah, I was saying that it's just, it's so tender and it's so fatty that like you break up the pieces with your tongue and you just feel the fat just melting on your mouth. It's just, it's insane. It's so good. So I have a little bit here where you can see that rendered layer right under the signature Leroy and Lewis crunchy bark. You get the crunch and then you get this like silky, delicate layer that isn't usually in regular beef fat because the, the makeup of Wagyu and Wagyu of this level is so different. And you get that silky mouthfeel but it doesn't feel greasy. It's really interesting. I wish you could try it, but I also don't want to share it with you. No, that's amazing, and the sauce with it too. Uh, I was even tempted to maybe dip some of the Wagyu brisket into the sauce, but don't tell anybody. <laughs> no, no, uh, but the Wagyu, I've certainly had brisket that's like super juicy and tender like that, right? But I've never had one that builds like its own uh, crunchy fat, like almost chicharron crust on the outside. Like I love a, a slice of lean brisket with that fat cap on it, but it's gonna be hard to go back to a fat cap that doesn't also have like its own crunchy edge to it. I mean, of course, just like with any brisket, I'm always looking at how does the lean brisket taste versus like other lean brisket. Because uh, fatty brisket's always gonna be good, right? And the lean was just incredibly juicy. But the fatty, um, you know, the, the line of like, you don't need no teeth to eat my beef, like that fatty brisket just, it literally melted you could basically, you didn't need any teeth, you didn't need to chew it. It took on the smoke flavor really well too. Uh, but when I heard about this idea, I really just assumed that it'd be so hard to smoke a brisket like this because it would just sort of turn into a puddle with that a Wagyu fat that melts so readily, but it really held together well. And I uh, can't wait to come back next week for another one. <laughs> Is that your first uh, Wagyu A5 brisket? Yeah, so good. <laughs>